After nearly four decades behind bars for a crime he did not commit, a Bay Area man is finally free, and he's suing the city of Tampa and TPD. If you sit in prison for 37 years, starting at 18 years old, and you were deprived the right to have children, a wife, a home, a future, because of a wrongful incarceration, how much do you think it's worth? In 1985, a jury convicted Robert Dubois of rape and murder when he was just 18 years old. Now at 56, he's a free man after DNA evidence exonerated him. Melanie Michael is live outside the state attorney's office with more on this incredible story, Mel. Jen, good evening to you. Robert Dubois says this lawsuit isn't about the money. He says it's about accountability. It's a, I'm not bitter towards any of them. You know, what's done is done. Now we're trying to move forward, make sure it doesn't happen to someone else. The story of Robert Dubois could have easily been one of anger, hate, and revenge. Instead, his view of the world is quite the opposite. He is filled with hope, gratitude, and most of all, faith in his future. I know, you know, people would say, man, you know, God wouldn't let you sit here for all this time. I said, listen, I said, it's a broken world. We don't know what's going on. I said, all I know is if anybody's going to get me free, it's going to be him. You know, I said, I just got to keep my faith. Robert was just a teenager when a jury found him guilty of raping and killing a young woman in Tampa, 19-year-old Barbara Grahams. Robert says his conviction began a life of nightmares. It's very frustrating to wake up every morning knowing you're in prison for something you didn't do and you're fighting against a system with unlimited resources and you have no resources to fight them with. You're, you're basically helpless. For years, Robert maintained his innocence, even as he sat on death row, endlessly frustrated, but also consistently faithful. He says he never gave up. And that's the reason he's filed this lawsuit. Because I guarantee you, I don't think there's one person in this whole world that would say, you know what, give me such and such amount of money and I'll go sit in prison 37 years. They're not going to do it. The 56-year-old admits while he is grateful to be free, he has lost a lifetime and came back to a world he doesn't recognize. You have cell phones now. We didn't have cell phones. We had pay phones that cost a dime when I went to prison. So I came back out. You have this self-checkout. You have Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's. All of these things didn't exist. And the skills he uses for his current job came from the most unusual place. Ironically enough, I came from death row waiting to be executed by electricity to being the prison electrician. You know? Yeah, so that's what I did all these years. Robert Dubois, a story of survival, redemption, second chances, and forgiveness. A story he hopes will inspire others. I work very hard. I'm honest. And I just want to help fix a broken system. We have reached out to the city of Tampa and the Tampa Police Department. Neither had comment on this case because they consider it pending litigation. We are live tonight at the state attorney's office. I'm Melanie Michael, 8 on your side.